Hello and welcome everybody. Uh, this video is very much geared towards beginners, okay? So a lot of people who roll in and watch this video will be very experienced with poker chips and I would love your input and feedback in the comments. So this is some stuff that is really basic that I'm just not going to cover in season three during my episodes, during a chip review. I'm not going to explain some of these really basic, basic things, okay? So that said, let's dive in and talk about some really basic poker chip concepts here, okay? So the first thing is handling of your chips. Now, if you're new, uh, you need to know that if you're going to bet something, you always want to put the big denominations, the largest denominations on top for clarity when you place your bet, okay? So place your bet, that should be on top. If you put it on the bottom, it looks like you're trying to hide your bet. Do you see how there are circumstances where it can be kind of hidden? So always put your large, your largest denomination on top to be clear. When you have your stack playing poker, you always want to have, so this is you and that's the middle of the table. You always want your largest denominations up front where everybody can see it. Does that make sense? Because they need to know how much you have behind. And if they don't, they're going to ask you. You know, if you go all in, they're going to ask, well, how much do you have? And then you're going to have to pull everything out. And it looks bad if you're hiding chips back here. Does that make sense? It's actually, I, my understanding is it's actually against the rules to conceal chips back here. So things to consider. Okay, really basic. I know. So just <laughs> trying to help everybody out here. Things that you'll see and should be understood. Okay. The other thing is when you are cutting out your chips, it's really easy to just one, two, three, four, five. You only have to count it once, and then you can just run your finger across and cut however many you need. Does that make sense? And you'll actually see dealers do this to verify on video because they have security cameras and they'll wash their hands like this all the time to verify that the amount of chips that are being presented is the correct amount of chips. So something else that will help you place your bets quicker and that's kind of some basic things about handling chips. Now, I want to talk about collecting chips. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's just roll these in right here. Okay, these are, there are several ways to store chips that you want to collect. Okay, here's a Mapes Casino 5. The, this chip brand is called TR King. You can see the same thing over here. This is a Money Tree TR King. Money Tree was owned by Mapes. Hmm, can't tell from the edge spots. Anyway, so... If you want to keep these safe, a great way to do that is with these little coin capsules right here. They're called Airtight H39. Is that clear? And that will fit 39 millimeter chips. They make an H40 that will fit 40 millimeter chips. And so if you're collecting those, uh, remember you can get tubes. This is a tube that you can store them in keep them out of humidity and out of collecting dust and out of the sun. You want to keep these in a dark place and keep them safe. So if you're collecting, look for these. Uh, I'll put something in the description. I'm not sure if I'm going to put a link or just a description of what these are. Airtight H39 or H40 direct fit cases. You can get larger ones with a foam ring in there. That's fine if that's your thing. So for storage of chips and collecting, one little tip right there. Um, another thing, uh, again, really basic here for the experienced poker chip enthusiasts, but again, something worth discussing. You'll see here, there are 20 chips. These are casino chips made by Paulson, reverse hat and cane mold. And you can see there's a lot of play here. Okay, I bet you I can even fit another poker chip in here. I can more or less. So there are 20 here, but you can kind of get 21. And this rack is supposed to hold 100. Some of these other chips, there's not enough room to get another chip in here. Uh, so these are the Dunes China Clays and the Monte Carlo. Okay, these are metal slug chips. These are China Clays. But there's still a little bit of play here. And they actually make chip trays instead of the whatever this one is. This one's like 60, almost 68 millimeters. They make like a 66.7 or a 67, which narrows this up a little bit so there's not quite so much play so your chips don't bounce around quite as much when you put them in the case or whatever you're, wherever you're storing them. 
some interesting information here for those of you who may not be familiar with these. So you can go to, and again, look in the description, you can buy the narrower chip racks. Like you can, like there's a, just a noticeable difference um, when you feel the, yeah, the chips in these. So either way, look for that in the description. Just take care of your chips. And that's those are some basic things that you will see. And if you're wondering about just little things like that, we're talking about here in this video, not really worth wasting review time to discuss stuff like that. Either way, we have already started filming season three in some very familiar formats and in some new, we're introducing some new ideas and some new concepts, some new screen, well, I don't know what to call it, uh, just new stuff in season three. So stay subbed and stay tuned. I'm going to come out with a few more basic videos while we're filming because I spend most of my time just filming gearing up for season three for the next three or four weeks. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Visit us on Patreon, Instagram. You'll see the links in the description and some basic things like this. If I missed something, very obvious and I, I do that all the time, leave a comment and maybe I'll make a follow-up video.